Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com. This playlist or series is dedicated to the beginners. It's for those Android users that have either just gotten their phone or are too afraid to go into the heavy detail of Android customization. So if you've always wanted to customize your phone but you've always been too afraid to, these are the videos for you. In this video, I'll just be going over the very, very basics in order to customize your phone. You do not need a computer, you only need an internet connection and the Google Play Store. Let us begin. Okay, so you just want a very basic setup so that your phone doesn't really look like this and it doesn't look like everyone else's that gets a brand new phone. Now you may have just gotten your new phone or you've had it for quite a while and you've been too afraid to try and mess with the settings or try and change anything. But do not worry, you don't need your computer. All you need is the Google Play Store and about 10 minutes of free time. Let us begin. So this is off a Samsung phone, so you, you'll probably see TouchWiz if you haven't installed any other launcher. If you don't know what a launcher is, check out Android Theming 101 Episode 1 and it explains it a bit better. So if you're using HTC, you'll probably have Sense enabled. If you have a Sony, then they'll have that Xperia engine or whatever. Great, so the very first thing you want to do is go into your Play Store and you want to download a few apps that are quite critical into simply changing your phone. You'll go to the search bar and the one you want to look for first is Apex Launcher. It's free, so you just have to install it. Don't worry, there's also a pro version, but we'll stick to the free one for now as you can still do so much with it. The reason why I chose Apex Launcher is that it's very quick and simple to set up and it also runs very smoothly. So you want to install that. Then another one called Bob Clock, as you can see here. It's just a quick, just to make it look like you've done something very special with your phone, but it's actually really easy to set up. Finally, you want to change your icons a bit. You don't want those boring old icons. So you can either choose the Metro Station icon pack. I used to choose it because it was free and you can change the colors to any color you want. Or simple text, text icon creator, as you can have text instead of an icon, which is pretty cool. And if you want a better tutorial on how to use it, check out the video link over here. Finally, the last app you need is one called Wallbase HD Wallpapers. What's great about this app is that you can find virtually any single wallpaper that you can think of and it's right in the comfort of your phone. You don't have to go into the computer to look for one. Great, so that was the four things. Our Bob Clock, our Metro Station icons, Apex Launcher, and finally, Wallbase HD. Great, that is all you need. And what, that takes about two or three minutes to install. All of those, great. So we'll first start off with our Apex Launcher. Okay, so we'll tap our apps and go into Apex Launcher. As you can see, it'll probably look similar to this with the dock at the bottom and the search bar at the top. I don't think a lot of people use the search bar. Some do, so you can keep it if you want but it sometimes conflicts. So we'll just remove it for now. And let's start off with our clock. So we'll hold down the home screen and select widgets. Wait for that. And then you want the one called Bob Clock. What's cool about this, it does everything for you. You just need to choose the colors. So for the hours, it's if you just wanted a white one. And for the minutes, maybe you wanted a dark blue one. Let's put it a bit, this changes the transparency there. So we'll just select that. And then you'll click confirm. Now if it looks a bit weird like that, that's all because you just need to resize it, which is a great thing about Apex Launcher. You can just resize it quite easily. There we have it. And there we have our little clock. So now you can just move it into the corner wherever you want it. Also comes with the date, the day, easy as that. Next, if you want to change your icons, we can hold down on it and go edit. And then you want to select, tap the picture. Now you can say select from icon packs because you've installed Metro Station for free. Now you have all of these little pictures and that, all these icons, great to start off with. So let's see, you can make that your home, your home, and you can even change the color now. We can make it a blue like that. See how it is, you go okay. Change it instantly. So you can do that to all of these, you just hold down, and go edit, tap the world, select icon from packs, metro station, find an internet looking one, maybe that one for example. It remembers your color. So we'll just leave it like that, and like that. You can do it for WhatsApp as well, as there's quite a few icons to choose from. You can spend hours looking at all of them. So you can select a chat one for WhatsApp, go OK. And you do it for all the rest. Look how simple that was. You still have all your notifications at the bottom. Tapping that will still bring you into your app drawer. You have not lost anything, but within a few minutes, your phone looks instantly customized with such a simple setup. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This will be one of many of your of the beginner tutorials just explaining a few simple concepts of getting very simple ideas for your phone. Thank you very much guys and don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as there will be many more videos of these to come. Thank you very much.